Good morning, everybody. Except it's not morning, it's night. Again, we're at Burt's. It's Thursday night. Mama Badger's getting her dance on. And I had some dinner. Now I'm headed back to the house. When we get back there, we'll have a conversation. See you in a few. All right, we are back home. Mama's still dancing. I got a video to do, and then I get video game time for a couple hours tonight. That's what I do on Thursday nights. I play video games. They go line dancing. Um, works out fantastical. Anyway, so a uh, big announcement for today. So I told you guys that we had new sponsor for Missouri, and they also sponsored Illinois. So they basically got Missouri and Illinois, and it's Brown and Crouppen. Crouppen? Crouppen. So it's Brown and Crouppen in St. Louis, Missouri area. Uh, anyway, uh, we got to talking to them a few weeks ago. Uh, they are a great fit. Um, for us and our mission. Um, they will do a great job for all of uh, the bikers in the Missouri and Illinois area and we cannot wait to really get this relationship kicked off. But anyway, that was the big announcement. So um, we signed Virginia yesterday. I'll probably have that announcement tomorrow. So we're growing and expanding um, which gives us the ability to bring more really cool stuff to you guys. Spoke with Rever today with our um, with our code Badgers all capital letters. You actually get half off, so you get half off of the Rever annual plan um, if you would like to try Rever out. Again, it's not anything we get paid for, but uh, they have supported us in both of our big rides. So um, we we definitely want to build a community and I think that is an awesome place to be able to put our rides and stuff out. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go back and see it. You'll know more about what I'm talking about. Today's video. So I get this question a lot um, and I figured I might as well answer it now. So one of the big questions that I get all the time is about um, what we ride. Um, most of you guys know we ride Fat Boys. We own four of them. Um, Silver is my main fat boy right there. 2005 CVO fat boy, 165,000 miles. Mama Badger's bike. It is a 2005 fat boy that is fully custom. We bought it that way, but it's from head to toe. Nothing's been untouched. It's got 110,000 on it. We've got red over there. That is my spare bike. Um, I just rebuilt it. If you guys know, you know. If not, go back and look at some of the other videos. But I stole parts from it to rebuild this last year. So I rebuilt it this year. Um, it's got like 35-ish thousand miles. And then the 99 here, which we have not put any miles on. It's got like 14,000 miles. But it's going to go on a summer trip with us this year. But anyway, I get asked all the time, as to why, since we ride so many miles, that we don't have baggers. Well, a couple things. First off, if you notice that bike and that bike both have bags on them. So I guess they are baggers. Um, we like the soft tail platform. Um, it's a little bit lighter. To me, it's a little more agile. Um, it's easier to work on. Uh, that's a big thing, guys. I do all my own work, and I enjoy doing all my own work. Also, when you're out on the road, shit happens. Um, on these bikes, there's not much I can't do on the side of the road. On the baggers, especially the street glide, road glide, those, I mean, stuff is hidden away. You have to pull off front fairings and stuff to get the wiring, and it's just a lot more to get done what you need done. Not to mention there are a lot more electronics and stuff that could go wrong, so why add to it? Uh, but the platform fits us. Um, like I said, they're a little lighter weight, they're more agile, um, and we just really enjoy the ride on them. Now, I used to work for a Harley dealership. I have ridden them all, um, except like the brand new CVO and all. I haven't ridden it yet. But anyway, um, could I go out and get one of those? I could. I guess the other piece to this is last year, you know, we did a video on how much our trip cost us last year. For those of you that don't know, we were pretty much gone all summer. I think we spent 105 days 
out on the road um, on our two bikes. And then half of that was with Desi on um, the V-Rod. But the amount of money we spent was a little, right at $25,000 for that trip. I mean, we could have bought a brand new street glide for cash last year um, if we had wanted to. But the other thing is I would rather spend the money um, not on a bike payment or on a bike. I would rather spend the money riding my old bike and traveling and going to cool places and making awesome rides and living that life. That is the life I've chosen. I have not chosen to go to work nine to five and you know clock in, clock out, have the weekends off. That's not it. We chose to basically ride motorcycles for a living, create motorcycle content. Um, we built support bikers. We have chosen a different lifestyle. So um, we do what fits us and uh, riding the fat boys just seems to fit us. I'll let you in on another little secret too. I like not riding the same thing everybody else is riding. Now there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the, the baggers. They're just, like I said, we're different. We're unique. People always come up to us at the gas station and talk to us. And a lot of people have a fat boy story, which is awesome, right? So many people saw it in Terminator 2 and like they've dreamed of having a fat boy and everybody recognizes it because of the solid wheels. I mean, the fat boy is just an iconic Harley Davidson motorcycle. Um, and it just, I just dig it. I don't know how else to explain it to you. It's just my bike. Silver is my bike. I would not want to ride anything else. Um, if I can't ride silver, I've got red. And I don't know if I'm going to enjoy riding that this year. We're going to find out what I think of the 99 and taking it across country. The bad part is I have silver set up the way I like it. Seat, everything is set up just the way I like it. So, um, this one I haven't taken anywhere, so I have no idea if I'm going to like it. But it's part of the adventure, right? It's all about the ride. Um, and taking these older bikes just adds a little more adventure to it, a little more excitement. Um, anything could happen at any time. I mean, honestly, anybody could go out and buy a new bagger and go ride across the country if they wanted. Um, Absolutely anybody could do that, but can anybody take an old bike with 165,000 or 100 plus thousand miles and do the same thing? That takes a little more dedication, um, a little more commitment. But anywho, that's it. I get that question a lot, so I thought I would lay that out to there to you guys. Like I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with going out and buying you a brand new bike and riding it. Um, you do whatever you love to do. Um, I'm going to continue doing what I love to do. And hopefully, we'll meet out on the road somewhere. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.